Hi, George Bruno here, also known as the Sultan of Silver, and I have a phenomenal tip for trimming your mustache. It's a little trick that I learned a long time ago for myself, not doing other guys' mustaches, but for myself. I'm gonna show you how I do it. it. Takes less than a minute. I'm gonna look into the phone as I videotape this, uh, so I won't be looking at you, but this is what I do. Come it straight down. Now this is just out of the shower, just blown dry, blown down. I used to have that David Crosby thing where the stash would grow from here to about here, and then just everything, I would just part it in the middle and just everything would come to the side. And it was, it was cool looking, but it wasn't practical for me. And being in business, it doesn't work for me. <clears throat> Let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. I like having the full beard in the uh, video. I am fortunate to have my beard go beyond the bottom of the video for the first time ever. So it's, it's well beyond six inches. I always measure from the very bottom, that line right there going down. And I'll be measuring in about two weeks with what I have going. This is a wall. It's the wall cordless detailer. It's lithium ion. It's a little bit larger. It's got a, a adjustable detailing blade. This is for lining up people. You know what lining up is when I create lines on guys who have very short beards. If you press too hard in the zero gap, there's no gap between the two blades. <clears throat> the blades are like this. Literally, they're touching your skin. One blade is moving. Okay. When I open it up a little bit, the moving blade goes down a little bit. And it creates a little bit of a longer stubble. When it's zero gap, that means there's no difference between this blade and this blade. And if you touch someone the wrong way or yourself the wrong way with it, man, you can really do some damage. So what I do is I close it, I zero gap it. Here's a method that I learned. Now, think about it. There's muscles underneath your face. And those muscles move with every expression. I forget how many muscles are in the face. I have to look that up. You know, they say it takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown. And you seen all those kinds of things before. Anyways, my beard doesn't react to my facial muscles moving this part of the beard. As when it's shorter, any kind of smirk or smile or anything is very visible. When your beard is huge, you can't really notice it that much. But where you do notice things is in kind of like the mustache area. This part of my face is moving. There's muscles that are very, very active in this area here when I talk, when I eat and so forth. So as I'm talking, you see this part of my beard moving and not so much this part here. Okay. So one of the things that I thought, and I ex believe me, I've made all the mistakes so you don't have to. You've heard me say that before. Using my Oster Clipper Comb. This is the best beard comb there is. You can get these at Sally for, not this one, this one's probably about 12 bucks. Uh, you can get a long tooth clipper comb at Sally Beauty Supply for under $2. They're phenomenal. They elongate your beard. They create a longer look when you comb. So let me just comb this. I haven't done any wax or anything, just blow dry it. I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna give you one little technique that makes for a great line. I like my mustache to be on my lip line. And I start from the middle. But this is one thing that I do. I forgot to show you this in the last video. This is another way to have a killer lip line shape when you have a big beard. I turn it on. I always start at the middle, but watch this though. I smile. When I smile, And then I go back, look at that. It's so darn perfect. Smile. And then I go back, it's absolutely perfect. When you smile, it does something to your beard. It makes it more natural when it comes back down. Now look at that line. 
That is unfreaking believable. It's perfectly straight. Honest to God, I've done this thing where I've tried it like without the smiling and it, it looks okay. But when I do the smiling, it almost seems like the outer inch of your mustache when you smile. Obviously, it goes up a little bit, kind of like goes up. And then when it comes back down, it's over directed and the line is perfect. So watch, watch the difference. Regular, just resting grumpy cat face. Smile. See it? It goes up. So you can get a more accurate, I'll stay smiling, get a more accurate trim with a smile. Now that is badass, man, right there. And then I'll part it. Because it's my day off, I'm not doing anything today. It's just gonna, I don't wanna handlebar it. I'm just kind of blending it into the beard today, so. Getting a lot of work done and making new videos, a brand new YouTube channel. I'm studying Reddit today. And also, there we go. So that's my look for the day with the perfectly straight line. It takes less than a minute to do it. I guess I'll just call it the one minute beard trim. I hope you learned something today. Try it, it might work for you. It works perfectly for me. As I like to say, your mileage may vary. Again, my name is George Bruno, also known as the Sultan of Silver. You can find me on Instagram at George A. Bruno, my Facebook page, George Bruno Luxury Hair Experience. All one sentence, George Bruno Luxury Hair Experience. My website is georgebruno.com. It's really a blog. Scroll forever. Look at the years of entries that I put in it. It's incredible. There's a lot of great stuff in there. And then, of course, the YouTube channel is gray. Bailey. I hope you learned something today. I love spending time with you and I love your comments. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, forward this to friends. If you disagree with me, a thumbs down is okay too. I'm not interested in building an army of people who just agree with me. I like people who dissent and people who might have a better way of doing something because I'm teachable as well. If you have something that works for you, I would love for you to share it as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Bye.